Okay, for World Mental Health Day under the team, mental health in an unequal world was observed with a week of activities beginning from October the 4th. Actually, we commemorated World Suicide Prevention Day, which was 10th of September, and we commemorated that from the 1st of September, and we went into the month of October to join those commemoration together. So for the World Mental Health Day, we um, had a week of activities, like I mentioned before, and we also joined with Wellness Week in the Caribbean. So the Mental Health Department participated with the HECOPAP Department in commemorating the activities together. So on the 5th, there was a, what we call a fruit day, where we talk about nutrition and things like that how it is important to take care of your physical well-being. Then on the 6th, we also had a session with staff on resilience and mental health and psychosocial support because as frontline workers, we need to know how to take care of our mental health and how to also provide psychosocial support to the community. Then we went into the activity on the 8th of October which is the wellness day and we also celebrated an information day on behalf of the mental health day so we again physical well-being and mental well-being goes together so the wellness week team was seeking mental health and well-being in time of COVID-19 so we had a good turnout especially because the vaccines are being given here at the hospital compound, we had a very good turnout. So we see that during COVID-19, during this pandemic, it is very important that we take care of our mental health. And it's very important that we take care of our physical health because the pandemic affects us not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally, with all the changes and the restrictions that have been happening to prevent the spread of it. And so we encourage the community at large to come and get their wellness checkup so that if they um, have an elevated um, cholesterol, blood sugar, any findings, you can change your diet. We encourage people to develop and maintain healthy lifestyle to include enough sleep, drinking enough water, getting exercise, taking care of your spiritual and your emotional well-being. All of these things was very successful on, on that wellness day. On that day, we also um, judged the poster contest. We had Mr. Nelberto, Mario Nelberto from Ministry of Education, and Mr. Tillit, Mr. Carl Tillit from Ministry of Education. They judged the poster competition. Again, the team was mental health in an unequal world, mainly showing that the services is not meeting the needs of the population in terms of clinics and number of practitioners, were very small compared to the need of the larger population. So in terms of the poster competition, we had participants from Toledo Community College and participants from Julian Cho Technical High School. The first, second, and third place prizes went to Julian Cho Technical High School. First place was um, Nerio, sorry, Edmir Nerio, he had first prize. Then we had Marlena Heron and Joshen Heron with second and third prizes and they all win a tablet. And then we also had um, some prizes for those who also participated with headsets and stationaries. So we want to look back and say it was a successful week, but it's not finished there. People still need to seek occupational health and well-being during this time of COVID-19. We are still here to offer the services. What time can anyone stop by nurse? Our clinic hours is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m and we're here every day.